What's up guys and gals, Sanitary103 back in the kitchen once again. And today's video, I'm gonna show you a very easy, delicious, and healthy roasted Brussels sprout recipe. Now before I show you the ingredients and the prep work, you might be thinking to yourself, Brussels sprouts, ugh, that sounds really, really gross. Well, I actually personally don't like Brussels sprouts very much, but I'm always improvising and experimenting with different um, recipes. And my wife actually made this recipe uh, during this past Thanksgiving and it was actually quite a hit and I enjoyed it very much. So I'm gonna show you uh, what I got going right here and show you that even certain greens that typically are not really high on the priority list that you can still make it delicious. So anyway, if you come on over here, I have um, obviously, let me show you the ingredients. So you have some Brussels sprouts that I cut in half and I sprinkled a little bit of um, salt right there. A little bit of pepper, some olive oil drizzled in there, and I just put that in a little bowl right here. And you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and I have a baking sheet right here, 400 degrees for 10 minutes. And you're gonna put the Brussels sprouts face down. Now, there's also gonna be some uh, bacon and shallots right here, which I'm gonna show you uh, in the next step. So. Let's go and put the uh, Brussels sprouts onto the pan. So if you want to come on closer, just get a little close up. And uh, you just want to put it, you know, just face down like that in a row. So once you have all the Brussels sprouts on the baking sheet, you want to put it in the oven, which I'm going to do right here. Be very careful. On 400 degrees for uh, 10 minutes. So uh, I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and after that I'm gonna put the bacon and the shallots and I'm gonna show you that. So see you in about 10 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes so it's time to take the Brussels sprouts out of the oven. So go do that. Nice and roasted. Now the next step you wanna do is, you wanna come a little bit closer, I got the bacon and the shallots and you wanna just Put it on top, come on closer, don't get too shy. Just get a little close up, they only see my face. You wanna get the bacon and the shallots on top of the Brussels sprouts as much as possible. So I'm gonna go and do that. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but you wanna to try to get some of the onion and bacon on top of majority of the uh, Brussels sprouts because you want to lock in and infuse the flavors onto the Brussels sprouts. So there's the shallots and then now for the bacon. So it's the same concept. And for some of you guys that are really health conscious you might be wondering you know what's up with the bacon. You don't have to use bacon. I don't eat bacon very often but this is only one strip of bacon. A little more than one strip of bacon. That's only 60 calories. It has some sodium but if you're really uh, worried about that, you can omit the bacon and just do the uh, shallots and the salt and pepper. But you know, you got to live a little once in a while. And one small piece of bacon, 60 calories spread over an entire uh, side dish, is, is not too bad. So once you do that, just pop it back in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until the bacon and the shallots are crispy. Uh, pretty much it. I'll be back in about 10 or 12 minutes to show you the finished product and give you my final words. I'll see you then. What up guys? It's been about 10 to 12 minutes. I took the uh, Brussels sprouts out of the oven and as you can tell the bacon looks uh, pretty ready right there. So uh, this is uh, going to be a great, whoops, excuse me. Sorry about that. This is going to be a great um, side dish to have. I'm going to be having it with some uh, sea scallops tonight. You can use any other lean protein, any other fish or uh, uh, chicken. I got some scallops over here with just some uh, salt and pepper, olive oil. Uh, nothing uh, too crazy. So this just uh, goes to show you that uh, you don't have to be uh, very boring all the time and just eat you know plain old steamed broccoli. That can get really boring and monotonous or asparagus. You know by roasting it, put some olive oil, put some bacon and some shallots. You definitely can lock in all the flavors and uh, definitely get your greens in. So uh, thanks uh, once again uh, for watching uh, this video. Be sure to give this a try. Be sure to also uh, check out my other healthy recipes on my main channel under uh, playlist healthy recipes or I'll put a link somewhere right here. Thanks once again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. The second half of the video I wanted to stress and emphasize what bad weather does to you in a negative manner mentally. Now a lot of people you know they have a hard time with motivation